Sorry about that, babe. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 1 on the NES. This is part 24. Uh, in our last part, we went through the waterfall. We got the, uh, whatchamacall? The cube, right? From the waterfall with the robot and everything. We still have the slab, and the slab is what we need to talk to the people and leaf it. So, a couple things we have to do. Uh, I kind of thought things over. And I also kind of, if you remember at the end of the last video, um, hold on, let me put my phone down here. At the end of the last video, I couldn't figure out where to land, right? Because the tower is over here, but we can't, I don't want to go there yet. And the town of Leafin, and if it's Leafane, I don't really know, I'm just going to keep pronouncing it Leafin, is over here, and I couldn't find any place to park. Well, it turns out, the place to park is right here. This little strip. So that's a bit of a walk to go there, but before I go there, I can't talk to anybody. I have to take the slab back to Dr. Une, who was back in... Melmond? Question mark? So I have to do that first, <clears throat> and then we're going to go to Leafin, and then we're going to go to the tower. We're pretty much all ready to rock, except I do want to buy a spell. Oh god, I completely forgot, guys. I'm sorry. I did grind offline um, in between playthroughs because I had a little bit of time before bed last night and I didn't feel like recording. Maybe grinded for about 30 minutes, something like that. Excuse me. Mostly because I wanted gold to get ourselves above the 60,000 threshold to buy the spell. And as you can see, everybody went up one level, so that's good, right? Anyway, we need to go back to Melmond. Just busting out my map here. Forgot to uh, unfold everything. What a what an amateur. <clears throat> so we're up here in Melman. Oh man, this is a blast in the past. From the past, excuse me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Melman is in the southwest. So we're gonna go down. It's about here, I guess. Now let's shoot over. Do, 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 do. Um, this is the... Yeah, all right, we're close. Melman's up here, right? I think Dr. Une is here. Let's hope. Also, I turned my fan off down here so it doesn't pick up on the microphone. My god, it's hot. Ugh. Oh, is he here? Hmm. Oh, this is him, right? Look, the Earth orb is shining. Oh, that's not him? God damn it. Where are you at, Dr. Une? I thought you were here. <clears throat> What's up, Nintendo Power? What do you got for me? Uh, oh, he... Oh, you know what? He is here. That's just not him. I was correct. He's over here somewhere. Whew, I'm sweating like a friggin... Like a Jimmy A in church. Alright, I think this is him. Pass through the... No. Yo, am I tripping? Is he here? Uh... Where is he? I sw oh, that's him up there. Okay. For so I kept thinking he was like one of the wizard guys, but I'm pretty sure he's this dude that's in the different clothes right here. This has got to be him. There we go. Jeez. A slab. This slab will lead us to solve the riddle of the Leafinish. Now listen to me. Warriors, revive the power of the orbs. Okay, so now we can go to Leafin and we can talk to the people because I'm 99% sure... Without doing that, they just speak some gibberish and we can't really advance any of the story there. Okay, so now we gotta go back <clears throat> and do that horrible park job and ridiculous walk. Hey, the Peninsula of Power, my favorite. 
By the way, that's, that's where I did all my grinding. Honestly, guys, like, we're almost at the end of the game. The Peninsula of Power is probably the only place you should ever really grind in this game. Seriously. There's really, like, no other reason to do it anywhere else. Alright. Um... We're gonna be doing a lot of running. We have no real interest in fighting at this point. And we have a long trek ahead. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't get poisoned along the way. Fighting the giants is tempting, but I'll pass for now. do this fight, actually. This one is worth it, I would say. <clears throat> we'll just rest at the end. Not that big of a deal. This fight should give us, like, 4,000 gold. That's the main reason I'm doing it. Obviously, the experience is good, too, but... Whenever there's, uh, four of these zombie troll things, it's usually really good cash. And we're gonna be spending 60 Gs on Nuke. I also want to learn Life 2, which is a, um, it's like basically a full restore. So it's like a Phoenix down plus a full heal. But that also costs 60 Gs, which obviously I don't have 120 at the moment. It gave me like a little under 4. Yeah, cool. I'm in the 70s. That's good. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think there's actually anything else here but magic shops. But anyway, let's talk to everybody while we're here. We are the Leafinish. Only our bravest became Sky Warriors. Your airship was theirs. See your face upon the clean water. How dirty come wash your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> At the time of destruction, a legend was born. In 400 years, warriors with the orbs will appear to save our people. Are you? Oh, the light warriors. The legend is true. Yeah, I don't think you can go into any of these talk to people randomly and then go to the magic shop. Until 400 years ago, we controlled the power of the wind. This enabled us to suspend the castle in the air. 400 years ago, we had an advanced civilization. Our interest was the universe. <clears throat> I wonder if the robots made by our ancestors are still moving. Indeed they are. The floating castle floats high in the sky, seemingly among the stars. We have passed on the legends from generation to generation, but 400 years have caused our memories to fade. Feels bad. Alright, so it looks like we're just going to talk to the people on the right side of the town, and then uh, I think there might be a couple other people near the magic shop to talk to. And then we're probably heading off to the tower, I believe. The floating castle. Our ancestors lived there. The Mirage Tower is the entrance. Yeah, you go Mirage Tower floating castle, and then I think the Temple of Fiends to finish it off. Our last five warriors left to find the cause of the world's decay. We know they live, but as bats. Oh, jeez. I wonder if... Are they at the Temple of Fiends, I guess? As all those bats? The power of the wind was taken by Tiamat. I don't remember this town for some reason when I played previously on the PS1. We fought with Tiamat, but we were unsuccessful. The fiend now inhabits the floating castle. Our floating castle, excuse me. Ah, oh, there we go. With this chime, you can enter the Mirage Tower. So that's the real reason why we came here. I was, I was starting to wonder. I'm like, what the fuck? There's like nothing here. <laughs> we knew that a great power controlled the fiends. Our five bravest warriors left, never to return. And we heard that they turned into bats. All right, so where is this? Ah, oh, man. Ah, wrong way, buddy. Y'all need to go. I'm guessing over here? Yes. Oh, there's like a revival thing too? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna say there's no other people to talk to over there and that's kind of honestly a semi-hidden, um, shop sector. Kinda have to stay- ah, oh, fuck. I'm screwed, aren't I? Is he gonna walk out? Keep going. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Can you get healed in here, too? Is that a two-in-one? It's kind of misleading with the hearts. 
All right, we're gonna teach Nuke to Jimmy. So obviously we don't have enough to get um, life two. We do want to learn that eventually. Can Jimmy even use this is the question. Jimmy can't use Nuke yet. I'm gonna say Jimmy can't use Nuke until level 22, hopefully. Hopefully it's not like 24 or some shit, but I still feel like it was a good idea for me to buy it. Oh no, get me out of here. So that being said, guys, Yeah. All right, I think we can enter the tower now. Do, 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 do. Yep, that is our next goal. Tower time. Now, I remember the tower being quite annoying. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through it completely in this playthrough. I'm hoping that we can. And then I think the tower pretty much extends into the uh, the Sky Castle, and then we're in the last area, so we are getting close to the end here, but obviously the difficulty is about to ramp up quite a bit. We will do our best. I went the wrong way there. Foolish. I'm just gonna reset. There we go. And of course, we take one step out. Oh, you know what? There was no in there, guys. Just realized that. So I have to rest at an inn before we go because I want to replenish all my magic, obviously. I'm fighting these guys just because this is a uh, Peninsula of Power battle. So as long as I don't get frosted... Ugh, come on, Jimmy, get your spell off, buddy. Thank you. But, as you can expect, lots of stuff to be looting. in the Mirage Tower. Which also reminds me, I need to figure out... Excuse me, what I'm gonna hold, what I'm not gonna hold. So there's dragon armor on the second floor. And on the first floor, there is a heal helmet, an Aegis shield, You know, I didn't realize how many items in this game had, like, secondary effects. I don't think I really used anything on my first playthrough, man. I'm looking here. The heal helmet restores some lost HP to warriors when used in battle. I'm just fighting, because why not? Fuck it. Um, the Aegis Shield protects against Glance and some other spells. Thor's Hammer casts Lightning, too. Um, ooh, the Sun Sword is good against... Undead monsters, that's interesting. I might be using that. And the Vorpal is actually a weapon. Hmm, that might be sold or we will use it. I gotta think that over when I actually get it. So I need to make sure that I have at least three. Hold on. Sun Sword, Vorpal, and Thor's Hammer. We're good there. We don't have enough here. Hmm. Heal helmet. Um, I can never remember. Something gets unequipped, I think. I think like the pro ring or the opal for Ryu would overtake the helmet. And I don't want to get rid of the Zeus gauntlet. I like that. I'm thinking maybe the power might be the thing to sell. Hmm. Man, inventory management's actually a pain in the balls in this game. So it, it always comes down to the armor, dude. It's like I just never have enough fucking spaces. I'm just gonna run from this, cause. We're already at almost 15 minutes. I want to at least get to the tower. <laughs> oh no, I took a few extra steps and I suffered for it. Sandworms inside of the forest. Go figure. Go figure. 
Alright, so I don't want to go directly to the tower. I do want to go back to Corneria and heal, just because it's cheap. And I think I'm going to sell the power gauntlet while I'm there. Where you at? Oh, that's Provoka. Oops. Here we are. Whew, I am not kidding, guys. It is fucking hot down here tonight. Holy shit. And I thought it was supposed to be cooler. Like, last night, I recorded in the same style, and I wasn't this hot. Something's going on, man. It must be a uh, heat wave creeping in tonight. It's making me so hot that I realized I forgot to go to the inn. That's why I came here. Alright, cool. Alright, next step is the Mirage Tower. So we're gonna go north and then a little bit to the east, basically. Probably about right now. Find a place to land. I think the closest place is right here. Pretty sure, looks like it. And we're gonna try to pop a tent. Right out, ooh, these guys are not ones to fuck with. <laughs> I actually, uh, I fought them during my grind last night. They barely give you, like, any gold or experience, and they're really tough to kill, so I'm, I'm good. Alright, let's pop a tent. And I'm actually gonna take a quick breather here, IRL, get some water, uh, feed my cat, and then it'll come back and we will mess around with the tower a little bit, so I'll be back in a jiff. Alright guys, I'm back after a quick little break. One thing I forgot! I realized it as I was sipping my water upstairs. I was gonna sell the power gauntlet, but I forgot to. So, when the time comes, I'm just gonna drop it. Um, it's specialized power, I believe is Saber, which doesn't even work properly in this game anyway, so it's pretty much irrelevant. <laughs> and I just want to reiterate, god damn is it fucking hot down here right now. Alright. Oh boy, I remember this shit, man. I remember this. <clears throat> so... I remember this being very maze-like. Who's that? Yo! Really, though? Vampires, man. Remember way back when? Because I do kind of want to level up a little bit. I'm just going to, like, test the waters. <laughs> oh, who has the, uh... Somebody has something that casts... Is it the mage? We'll find out. I gotta level up a little bit more, so... Yeah, nice. So Mage actually casts Fire too, I believe, which is gonna be perfect against a few enemies here, actually. Ooh, 6,000 G, my man! Let's go! 880 gold. Alright, the Heal Helmet. Alright, let's, let's bust out the, uh... Let's bust out the Armor Sheet. So who will don the heel helmet? Uh, it could either be Bits or Ryu. It is a 6-3. Uh, the Opal helmet technically is better, but the heel helmet can cast. So let's see. So it might, it's either going to be Ryu or it's going to be sold. So let's trade. <sighs> you know, I wanted Ryu to have that, but maybe it's better off to have Rays. Alright. Oh yeah, also we have to check the uh, the old status here. 4468. Uh, there. Oh! He could actually just straight up wear it, so I was completely wrong. I thought something would be unequipped, so that's actually good. That's actually good. No complaints there. Alright, put the, uh, the armor, armor thing away. There will 100% be some kind of fight over here. No? Oh! Your boy, look at all this gold, man. 
Before you know it, I'll be able to uh, afford life too. Okay, the Vorpal. This was the other thing I wanted to check. Um, who could use the Vorpal? The Vorpal could be used by Bits and Ryu. Vorpal is right there. And the white, the white wizard could use the Vorpal. Am I reading this wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, only the red wizard. Okay, so the only people that can use it are Bits and Ryu. And currently, uh, we have the defense and the ice. All right, let's do some math. Alright, where are we at? Ice Sword. 29.25. And Defense. Is 30.35. And the Vorpal. Is 24.25. So. Mm, no, that is not an upgrade, but I believe. That the Vorpal can be used to do nothing. Okay, so actually, this is just gonna get sold. That is gonna be sold. Uh, did I loot all these? Spent so much goddamn time <laughs> looking at my uh, thingamajig. Ooh, guards? Okay, they know rub, so I would like to get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's, that's a nope. That's a big nope. Can't hold anymore. Okay, so that must be... Okay, that's the Aegis Shield, so let's drop... Let's drop the Power Gauntlet, since it's basically useless, other than the gold. Every time I put my freaking chart away, man, I get something new. Alright, Aegis Shield. Can only be used by bits. Uh, it is the same exact thing as the opal shield. There is no stat difference whatsoever. And I believe the Aegis shield, yeah, protects against glance. That might be another sell. That might be another sell from me. But we'll see. And it looks like there's a cabin over here. <clears throat> Oof, the guards. Yo, I'm like, honestly freaking frightened. If I, if I can't run away from them and I get rubbed, that's a rip. Are you the master? Uh, no. <clears throat> I felt like that was supposed to be something, but... Oh, yo, Batman looks pretty sick. It kind of looks like Batman with, like, longer ears and, like, a sword. What the fuck? Batman. I guess it wouldn't be that bad to grind in here, but I still feel like the Peninsula Power is probably still better, just because it's easier, and you still get a lot of gold and experience there. All right, floor two. So you know what, there's actually, okay, this is, yeah, this is the big maze floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I would love to be able to loot through here. Mmm. The dragon armor. I don't have enough room for that. Let's check that out. Dragon armor can only be used by bits. And it is the same exact stats as the opal armor, but obviously I'm sure it protects against dragons. Huh. And yes, we have to battle a dragon in here, so that would be a that would be a definite upgrade. What do we have? Is there something that we could drop? It's like I guess I could drop the Aegis Shield, honestly. I kinda wanna keep the Zeus Gauntlet just because the attack that it does sometimes is pretty good. I'll hold on to the Aegis Shield until I get there. Cause um yeah, this isn't exactly the easiest. You have to go, like, all the way around. Ugh. 
I remember this. This is where it gets annoying. Because if you can't run away from fights here, it's tough. <clears throat> it's a lot of that up, left, up, left, kind of, you know what I mean? I just went the wrong way, for example. Ooh, these, this is bad. Uh, if I can't run right away, yeah, I get scorched. Yeah, I guess Scorch isn't doing too much damage. <clears throat> I, I feel like I have no science to back it up, but I feel like the more that you go, like, really quick movements instead of straight lines, I feel like the battles just happen quicker. I could be completely wrong, but... Um... Hmm... We'll do harm to... And we'll use this. I'm trying to conserve my magic. I actually do want to get through here in one shot if I can. Bits and Ryu should be able to kill them, and Harm 2 might kill the other guys. I hope. <clears throat> Yo, I made... <laughs> I made my first playthrough of this game so much harder than it needed to be. Because I was just completely unaware of all these uh, weapons and items that you had, like... Being able to cast Fire 2 for free... Constantly... Is like a godsend, man. Ooh, a Chimera. I feel like one of the items I have casts Ice, but I can't recall. I kind of want to fight you. And I think I will. And as such, I will cast Heal. And I will cast an Ice... Will I cast an Ice 3 on you? Yeah, why not? Hey. <laughs> that was easy. How much gold do I have now? Almost enough to buy... Life too, which is great. All right, time to loot, baby. Give me something good. More G's. All right, now we have enough loot, right? Yep. Your boy likes that. All right, Thor's hammer. That allows us to cast lightning too. So that's another one that we definitely have to hold on to, regardless if people are using it or not. And can maybe Razor could use this. Yep, Razor can use this. Nice. So let's trade Thor's hammer to Razor. Equip. And I'm just gonna straight up drop the silver hammer. Because at this point, we're getting so much gold with like every single fight and everything we do. It's just, who cares? Also, I gotta figure out here. Sorry, guys. See how long my, my parts were? 16. It's around like 27, 28 minutes right now. That's fine. We'll keep pushing on. <clears throat> House. Nice. More gold. The sun sword. I don't remember what happened with that. Ah. Oop. <clears throat> oh, that's right. The sun sword is particularly yeah, effective against undead monsters and is 3230, which actually is my first upgrade over the ice sword, I believe. Finally. Fitz has been rocking the ice sword for quite some time. Let's get a check. Mm-hmm. 49.95. Uh, trade. Yes. Oh! Wait, hold up. Oh, I was looking at the wrong... Oh yeah, it is, it is. Okay. We're good, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And it's effective against undead monsters, which is good because there are still a decent amount of undead monsters here and there. <sighs> Excuse me. Mm. 
All right. Well, the next step is... Oh shit, did I talk to the robot here? Oh, never mind. The robots, uh, I guess you could wander in here and talk to the robots and they kind of give you hints about the cube. Um, because this game could lead you here and get you stuck, basically, at the top. It's no big deal. Can't hold anymore. What? Oh, the dragon armor. That's right. Alright. We're gonna want that, so we're gonna drop the Aegis shield. I just don't feel like retreating for the sake of time. Again, if this was like an offline playthrough or something, I probably would, but... Um, okay, so we're gonna trade Opal for Dragon. From what I saw, they're exactly the same, except this is obviously better against dragons and we do have a dragon fight coming up. So, with that being said, I believe that we need to leave through this door and go up towards the top again, and then we have the stairs to the final floor, actually, of the Sky Tower, but then we get sent to the Sky Castle. And that could be a bit of an issue, because I'm pretty sure it sends you right there, and, there, and it's... Yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah, we'll be making our way back through the, uh, this tower at some point again, but... We might actually be retreating soon. I don't know, I gotta figure this out. You gotta be, like, ready, ready to go through this part of the game. That's all I'm gonna say. And if you're not ready, ready, you're not gonna get through it completely. So what we'll probably do is I'll probably cut this off once I get to the Sky Castle. We'll continue on there, uh, and we'll play for a bit, and at some point we are gonna have to retreat and do it again. And I'll probably just fast forward the footage unless something crazy happens at that point, but... Eh, since we're here, we'll talk to the robot. One of us escaped with the cube. He floated far to the west. Into the waterfall, he floated. Apparently. And floor three. You know what? That's actually not that bad. It's definitely the Sky Castle. The Sky Castle's bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, Blue Dragon. Okay. This shouldn't be a big deal, but I, I did come in here without full health, which actually isn't great, to be honest with you. Yeah, this is a big problem. <laughs> uh, I kind of fucked up. Uh, I kind of fucked up. Um, who has... We're gonna attack... Somebody has a ribbon, right? I think. Ribbon, and then I might die here, guys. I kind of fucked up. I was completely just like sleeping. Nice, nice, nice. As usual, I overestimated it, <laughs> but honestly, that still wasn't great. Hey, we finally have to use some heals. I'm not gonna use all of them, though. Because I do get the free healing in battle with my items, which is probably uh, take advantage of more, but the weak people should be buffed up a little bit here. Maybe we'll use one more on everybody. Transporter's operation requires a cube. We got it. What? No, 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 no. Don't. What is this bullshit, dude? Get me out of here, man. Is this a... I think this is just bad luck. Oh no, dude. Oh no, thank goodness. <laughs> oh man. 
I was about to be hanging. Alright. We are in the Sky Castle, guys. This is technically the second to last, like, spot of the game, pretty much. Um, we'll do what we can. We'll do what we can here. But, that being said, I am gonna cut this particular part of the playthrough. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty, people. Hope you've been enjoying it. I certainly have been. If you have, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos. And I'll see you in the next part of the playthrough. Take care.